everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're doing fantastic this evening and we'll be taking a look at what is going on across the north atlantic as per usual so we're looking at the infrared weather satellites and we can see that it's a bit active in parts of the eastern u.s but uh, going toward the Caribbean, much not really happening, although some areas have been experiencing some downpours. Northern South America, we're seeing some uh, afternoon convection popping up in some areas, some thunderstorms, uh, and those white dots indicate lightning strikes. Now, let us zoom into the U.S., the Southeast U.S. Here we can see all of this right now. So a lot of thunderstorm activity moving through parts of the Southeast states, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and uh, even up. Uh, further north to the Great Lakes also being impacted by the system and so heavy rain is likely affecting some areas especially the Florida Panhandle even those uh, gale force winds as well winds from 30 going up to 35 knots that's like tropical storm force gusts there and maybe even more unsettled seas within the vicinity of all of this convection that we're seeing here so this is impacting the U.S. and as we head to the Caribbean, though it is a big contrast, we're not seeing much happening right now. However, there are some cloud clusters moving by, likely resulting in some shower activity for parts of the windward islands. So areas such as Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, even near Martinique, likely experiencing some intermittent showers at times. And that's been the story since yesterday for some of these areas. But further up north and through the rest of the Caribbean, going to Central America, pretty much trying tranquil uh, with much not really happening as it relates to rainfall activity. So let's look at the rainfall forecast for the rest of today and here we're seeing what Euro has to show. Now we can see these colorful shadings in the Gulf will go up there in a moment but look into the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, even Puerto Rico. Maybe a few passing showers between now and the rest of today but for most areas the weather should be pretty much calm and quiet, maybe a little bit windy as well, but nothing much really happening, especially for areas such as the Cayman Islands and over into Central America, as I said, much is not happening, nor is much expected in terms of rainfall activity as we're going to be heading throughout the rest of today. Same story as we head to the Turks and Caicos Islands, Virgin Islands, and most of the Lesser Antilles, although the Windward Islands may experience some additional showers, uh, much not expected for the ABC Islands, but then down to Northern and South America it gets a little bit colorful so as i showed you guys a couple of thunderstorms popping up this afternoon that's been the story there i mean it's in the vicinity of the intertropical convergence zone so with all that instability especially with the daytime heat and it's likely that uh we're going to be seeing more of this as we eventually head into spring and summer so that's been the case for uh, the area right now going up to the u.s here we can see that this rainfall map gets a lot more colorful we're even seeing those pink shadings popping up which are indicative of rainfall amounts up to three and a half or even four inches so for parts of the florida panhandle there could be quite a bit of heavy rain uh, and also substantial rain in surrounding states such as georgia alabama mississippi uh, louisiana parts of louisiana that is tennessee and that go in further up to the north so as that system is going to be making its way through it's bringing with it all of that rainfall activity all of that unstable weather in terms of the winds across the caribbean though so as i said it may be a little bit breezy in some areas but for the most part we've got those winds coming from the east not very strong maybe up to 20 knots or so at the most and uh winds coming out of the southeast for parts of the northwestern caribbean though but nothing major happening nor is anything major on the horizon at least for the next couple of days however we may see a little frontal system as we're going to be heading into the latter part of the month of March. But of course, I'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening and all that is expected. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this update video. And I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise. 